morning everybody thanks for joining me once again of course it's pastor chris and i'm coming to you from my garden once again in the backyard uh so glad that you uh, continue to join us for these and want you to know that i miss you a whole bunch um, now the reason that i'm out in the garden once again this week is because jesus tells another parable uh, he, this week he's talking about uh, the wheat and the weeds he tells a story about a man who goes out and he scatters seed um, in his field and it's good seed but uh, in the middle of the night uh, someone else comes along and scatters bad seed and uh, as it grows up uh, his uh, workers come to him and say hey didn't you plant good seed and he said yes um, and they're like well now there's weeds growing up so what's that all about do you want us to go pull them out and the man says, no, uh, let them grow up uh, fully. And then when it's time to harvest the wheat, um, the uh, weeds will be uh, pulled up as well and they'll be sorted out and uh, thrown away and into the fire to burn up. So um, what does this mean for us today? You know, what does this mean? Um, it's not necessarily about good and bad. Um, when those workers asked, you know, do you want us to go pull them up? He says, no, don't go pull them up because when you do that, you'll hurt the good plants as well. You'll hurt the wheat. Uh, so, you know, let them grow up. And I think what that means for us is this, is that sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between something that's good and something that's not so good. It's hard to tell the difference between um, what's a good plant, uh, the wheat for instance, and a plant that we don't want so much, uh, the weed. Um, so um, here I am in my garden and um, over the last few weeks um, there's been this plant and it's, it's this one right here. You know, it's growing up, it's really tall, it's really stocky, it doesn't look like anything else around it, nothing else I've seen in my garden. Um, but uh, Miss Brittany's like, no, why don't you just leave it? Because it looks like it's gonna flower. And then there's another, uh, there's another plant as well that I thought was a weed. Um, but you know, and I was getting ready to pull it. <clears throat> but guess what? It's right here. It's that one right there. And it has flowers on it. So, you know, I thought that was a weed because again, it doesn't look like anything else um in that flower bed but um it uh grew up into uh, a nice flowering plant and then there's this one right here next to me this big bush these ones with the pink flowers on it and when it started to grow i also wanted to pull it out and miss Brittany was like no we'll leave that one alone i know what that one is uh, but there's another one that's grown up over here just like it um it's the same one it doesn't have the flowers on it just yet but uh, we know that it, it will. And so here's the, here's the thing that I want you to remember. Sometimes, you know, a plant looks like a weed and sometimes uh, we can't always tell the difference between that. And sometimes people do things that we don't think are so good. Um, we might not like it, but that doesn't mean that they're bad people. You know, I saw today a saying that a weed is a plant that has not yet grown to its full potential. And um, what God wants us to remember is that, you know, we uh, have to live with things that we like and don't like, things that are good and bad in the world. And in the end, um, we can trust that God will take care of that. We can trust that God will uh, redeem all things, that God will uh, let all good things happen in their own time. And that we are simply to trust uh, that that's what God does. Now, what we're supposed to do is just go out and do our best uh, to be good and to point out good and uh, to share the good in the world so that everybody would know God's love and the beauty of God's creation. And that's good news. So what, of course, do we do when we hear good news? Yep, we pray. So let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and then repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all of the beauty and all of the good in the world. Help us to understand what might be good and what might not be so good, but to trust always 
that our understanding falls short and that in the end, God will sort it out and that's up to God. But until then, remind us always to do good, to share good, to point out good, and above all, to give thanks and praise to you. All these things we pray in your precious name and all God's children said, Amen. Once again, I just want you to know that I miss you so much and can't wait for the time where we can gather once again to do these children's sermons in person. But until then, remind mom and dad to like, share, and subscribe. Share this with a friend and be safe. Stay well. Take care. Bye. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. Just to show up.